Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. <clears throat> Excuse me, what you brought up in, in regards to the nepotism, because I don't want to hear it either. And I really appreciate and applaud you for bringing it up, because you hear people mumbling about that in the way the weeks and the days leading up to the draft. It is something that has permeated throughout the NBA for quite some time, okay, and on all levels. And no one has said anything. It's never been an issue that I can remember. I've been covering the NBA for a quarter of a century. This man has been around just as long, if not longer. Don't talk to me about nepotism being something new. It's been here. Nobody said anything before. Shut the hell up now. Pretty incredible. Uh, Tolu Smith, uh, 610 Power Forward from Bay St. Louis, Mississippi. Grit, grind, just knowing that he's one of the best on the floor. They're going to the NCAA tournament with the win. Because I know he's a dog. I know he's a great rebounder. He's one of the best players in the SEC. When I was a kid, like, I knew what I wanted. I knew my dream was the NBA. Like, that was the only thing that was going through my head. Going through my head every day. But my biggest thing for him was to work on his touch. Um, just work on his touch around the basket. When I was a kid, like, I knew what I wanted. I knew my dream was the NBA. Like, that was the only thing that was going through my head every day. He's able to, you know, showcase his skills. I think that will go a long way in him being successful in the NBA. Wow, man. Hey, man, check it, man. Check it, check it, check it, man. Listen, man, I'm just... Talking about some things that's going on with the draft, man. I'm not for the even. I, let me just start out by saying I agree with Stephen A. Man when he talks about the fact that nepotism it's never been an issue, but it's even deeper than that. When you think about uh, LeBron James and Brony, you got to think about this is his son, and he gets to play with his son. His son definitely dope, you know. But he, you know, he been training him up his whole life. But to see him, you know, he he got sick. I, I want to say. A, a, a time back a year or so ago and and now to, to see him come back and be able to play with his father I think that's dope man um I always tell y'all man taking care of your kids and family that's more gangster than anything else so on this segment <clears throat> I'm really talking about some real gangsterism man Br uh, brothers stepping up doing what's right with their children you know this dude LeBron James be honest with you man stand up guy has always been when you look at him as a brother as a father you look at it, what he does in the community this guy man everything that comes to him he deserves it he planted the right seeds therefore he's reaping the right harvest I'm telling you right now man he can't do no wrong in my eyes because of the way that he stepped up to bat when it comes to opening schools and just doing things for the community and being in the right place being and doing the right things at the right time man being a champion so you know and that that's off the court as well you know I'm just looking at how he moves and the things that he's done what he's brought to the table, you can't deny that he's definitely dope and doing the things that he's supposed to do. Now, you know, uh, I gotta talk about my boy Tolu Smith. Uh, he gets, you know, this is family. Uh, he's going to the Detroit P Pistons. And it's crazy because, like I said, this is somebody that I really, really know. So at the end of the day, his family, his father, it's gangster. The way I know what they went through to prepare and get ready for this whole situation and just, another stand-up guy so I'm looking at two fathers to me because uh, I'm an older cat and I know what it is to have kids but to have kids and they become a success under uh, you know what everything that they had to go through it's a great thing man so man shout out to them boys man like I said you look at this young kid man Tolu he's a a beast 16 you know what I mean can dribble can take it to the to, to the hoop pretty much can take it I mean he can take it all take it there his touches is right everything he's doing when you see him that's why he made it and at the end of the day I see what they go through the practice and the work ethic it, it's different it ain't on a normal level it's on an abnormal level so you got to be you definitely got to be really really focused to do what these guys have done and they go for both guys that I'm talking about but like I said the family stability is what I look at as well stable families People who fathers that's in, in their son's corner. And you got to give it up to that. But I'm going to bring on my brother. I got family on the phone now. So um, talk to my brother for a second about it because he's a sports fanatic. I'm not really. 
Uh, what's up, man? What up, sir? What up, Big Steve? What's going on, man? So uh, uh, you checking out the draft? I know you're a sports fanatic. I'm not. We, you know me. I can't fake it with you. Uh, what you think about uh, what I was talking about? For as uh, Brony and, and LeBron, and I agree with Stephen A. Because I, I I just listened to that little skit of him uh, where he was saying, you know, about this nepotism. I guess there was some criticism. I didn't hear the criticism as much. Yeah, they criticize him, but it's okay. He get to play with his dad. He can't beat that. We see this all the time in sports. It ain't nothing new. Well, I think it's great. They get to play together. So the Lakers drafted him. I, I think, and they did a good. And then they got the other pick they got from uh, seven to, to do that drop in the draft. So I think they got it. it, 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 it they got a pretty good thing going on over there. Wow, oh, my boy, with the. With Tolu, I'm proud. I'm very proud of him. Man, G got to Tolu is his son. Oh, G, I, you know, I get excited about that because we've been talking about that. Yeah, and I know we've been talking about it. And he get to go with Detroit. And he get to play with my guy. He get to play with the uh, Dr. Bill's own Ron Hollins. Hey. He took number five. He got took number five with Detroit. So they over there together, man. I'm proud of that. So, yeah, that's that's great. Man, you know, I was talking about the fathers, man, being able to, uh, you know, get to see their kids become successful. But them being stand-up fathers, staying in their kids' life, man, how important is that, you know? One, man, 100%. And you know how much he's been, he, he blew everything around the way for your kids, man. So I know he's very proud of his son again. He's been saying that's all he's been, you know, talking about it. For him to go to Detroit, and Detroit is an upcoming. I know. I don't know if they hired a coach yet today. I know yesterday had they hadn't hired a coach yet. You know they fired uh, my boy. So uh, they, 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 you know they, they, they up and coming. So I think he's gonna get a lot of playing time. And you know he went somewhere that went somewhere that he can, he can, he can play. You know what I'm saying? And that's great, man, to be young like that and get a chance to go somewhere that you really can get a chance to show your skills. Wow. Man, so you saying you think he's going to come out playing fresh? Ain't going to be no, you know, of course he's going to play his rookie year, but you say you think he's going to get some touches? Yes, I think he went to a good spot for him to go to. You know what I'm saying? For him to go to, even you know, so that way he can grow. You know, he get a chance to seriously play for playing time. So that's great to be in that situation. So I think he went to the right right spot. I'd like to talk to my boy to see what he think about it. His dad. Talk. Oh man, I, I texted him earlier. I ain't gonna lie, he had hit me up earlier when it first happened, and uh, I, I actually, you know, I, I texted him back, congratulations. They actually went down. I think they they, they celebrated early, so they knew he was gonna get drafted. It's a pretty good chance. So they're you know they're down doing him, and, and you know his other son is in from. He play out of the country. You know, gotta think about that. He got another son that's already uh, in the pro league, but it's out the country. And I won't be real with you, man. He he's a, a great guy. Um, kids, man, respectable. I met that young man, so it's going down, man. I'm just proud to proud to uh, be be affiliated with those guys, you know. Man, I'm, I'm saying that that's that's wonderful because you know it's hard to make the NBA, man. For him to make that, man, that's a blessing in his own. So. Very proud of them for doing that. Man, thanks, Steve. Uh, I just want to let me just say, man, thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe to the channel. Uh, man, y'all see what we're talking about. Great young players, uh, great fathers, family. That's what we represent over here at Boss Talk 101. Uh, man, make sure you guys uh, get in the uh, comments. Let us know uh, what you think about Brony, what you think about LeBron, what you think about my boy Tolu, man. Let, let us know what's going on with you, man, what you think. Uh, don't, you know, I used to ball a little bit, so don't make me come out of retirement, man. Don't make me go back to the old me, man. It's going down, man. Boss Talk 101, man. What a boss's dog. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see.